Salutations everyone, Shadow Taurus here bringing you another exciting power scaling video. Today we tackle one of the most controversial matchups in the series, Kid Buu vs Buhan. But before the video starts, make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to click the notification bell for more content. Now I know this topic has been discussed and argued endlessly online, but I believe I can offer a fresh perspective based on the manga evidence. For this analysis, we'll be solely focusing on the feats and portrayals in both the Buu Saga manga as well as the guidebooks for evidence. So let's kick this off by analyzing Buhan. What exactly made him such a powerhouse? Well, we know he's a result of Majin Buu absorbing Gotenks, Piccolo, and Gohan, and this grants him not only raw power but their techniques and intelligence, but will he be enough to compare to Kid Buu? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll be doing a deep dive in both their scaling, and by the end, hopefully, we'll have a definitive answer of who comes out on top in this fight. So let's drop in and get ready for another awesome power scaling video. Now, when it comes to Buhan scaling, he has multiple statements in the manga and the guidebooks. One such statement is in the V-Jump, where it states Buhan, he catches Gohan off guard and absorbs him, gaining power on power with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, the way you can interpret this is twofold. The first way you can interpret this is that Buhan's full power is as strong as full power Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That is if we take this statement literally. The second way to interpret this quote is saying that Gohan is as strong as Goku here and that Buu absorbed that power obtaining it and becoming strong as Super Saiyan 3 Goku. However, for me personally, I believe the former may be the more accurate one as at this point you could argue Goku might be stronger than Gohan, but that's getting ahead of myself. Buhan also has multiple statements of being the strongest in a couple different guidebooks, one of them being Dragon Ball Forever. This calls him the strongest demon, though the guidebooks tend to use demon as a synonym for Majin, so take with that as you will but what feats does he have well he was able to take on super saiyan 2 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta at the same time without showing any real levels of difficulty and that's really it for buhan's feats i mean he also got beat the shit out of by super vegeta but that's not really a feat and that's really it for buhan's manga scaling but how does he really stack up against kid buu now when it comes to kid buu there are some key statements from the manga that we need to take into account one of the most significant statements is when Vegeta expresses his confidence that no one in the entire universe except for Goku could defeat Kid Buu. This statement would include the likes of Gotenks and even Ultimate Gohan, inciting that Vegeta firmly believes Goku is stronger than both of them. This is consistently reinforced by multiple guidebooks referring to Kid Buu and Goku as the strongest. What this suggests is during this specific moment in time, Kid Buu and Goku were likely the two most powerful fighters in the universe. Adding to this, Dragon Ball Z Fact Files goes even further stating that although Kid Buu's form is smaller and more childlike than any previous of the Buu's, he possesses the greatest power and ability. This statement gains significance if we consider the possibility that Buhan, the fusion of Buu and Gohan, is on par with Super Saiyan 3 Goku in terms of strength. Additionally, the Elder Kai characterizes this particular Buu as the most dangerous, and while dangerous does not necessarily equate to the most powerful, when coupled with the additional Gaimuk statements and the other suggesting Goku is weaker than Kid Buu, it starts to make a lot more sense. Moreover, if we look at the Dragon Ball Super manga, it describes Majin Buu as the most powerful adversary at the beginning of the series and even portrays Kid Buu overpowering Vegeta in combat. Dende even later in the series describes Kid Buu as the most formidable enemy Goku had ever faced. This is quite evident as the Dragon Ball manga constantly hypes up Kid Buu as a force to be reckoned with. Now when it comes to assessing the power scaling exclusively in the manga continuity of Dragon Ball Z, it is abundantly clear that Kid Buu is portrayed consistently as the stronger of the two. This revelation may come as a surprise to many dedicated Dragon Ball fans, however then the question arises, how does the anime continuity compare? Well, when diving into the anime continuity, Buhan does not receive any substantial increases in supporting statements. Nonetheless, the guidebooks do assert that he has surpassed Super Saiyan 3 Goku in power. On the other hand, Kid Buu continues to accumulate affirmations of being the strongest Majin, such as found as the anime TV guide Dragon Ball Z Son Goku Denzetsu. Additionally, in the anime continuity, there is a remarkable instance where Goku, even while significantly weakened by a hundredfold, manages to defeat Ultimate Gohan in his Super Saiyan state while inside of Buu. This encounter amplifies the one side nature of the power dynamics in Kid Buu's favor within the anime continuity. It is worth noting, however, that some people may bring up the afterbout statement suggesting Kid Buu got weaker due to unabsorption. However, this statement within the guidebook itself contradicts an earlier assertion that Goku battled a powered up Buu, rendering it a point of contention and not a definitive argument for Buu's overall strength. But overall, I am of the opinion that Buhan does not stand a chance against Kid Buu. If you disagree, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And until we meet again, good luck in your power scaling endeavors.